Hey guys, so we're back at it again. I'm going to show you how I make my uh, sunflower t-shirts today. So I'm going to use Cricut Design Space in this. You don't have to use Cricut Design Space. You can just print an image out on any transfer paper or any transfer fabric paper that you have. I'm just using this because I don't feel like cutting out the sunflower by hand with all the little pointy um, leaves. So here I am. I'm just going to put life is better in the country. And I'm going to put that right on top of my sunflower. I don't remember which font I was using here. <laughs> and here you see me playing around with the fonts just to see which one I like better. So I'm going to ungroup this and put the letters a little closer together because they're too far apart for me. And then I'm going to group this back and put it on top of my sunflower and pick whatever color you would like. So here you do see me mess up a little bit. I didn't see the Y hanging off the sunflower, so when I go to print, it's going to go all white, so you're not going to be able to see the Y. So I'm going to go back. Um, here I'm going to click make it, and then I'm going to go back, and I finally realized my mistake, so I downsized the country a little bit. And then I reflattened it and hit make it. And you're, you're going to want this black border around your image. It helps later on for it to um, detect the image. So here you're going to send to your printer. And the third option down, it's going to say Add Bleed. You're going to want that on so it doesn't cut into your design. And I'm going to use these fabric transfers. It comes with 10 white and 5 dark. I only have the dark right now, so you can use the dark with white, um, or I'm sorry, light fab fabric, fabrics. But you, you know... You're going to want to use this with an inkjet printer. You don't want to use this with a laser printer because it will mess up your printer. And since this is a dark transfer paper, you're going to you don't have to reverse or mirror the image. If it's a white transfer paper, you're going to want to mirror the image. So here we are. We're going to just print it on that paper. Takes a minute. I'm sorry. All right. So here I'm going to hit printable iron on dart load that into my mat and press go and here you're just gonna see it cutting it is gonna check for the the dark line around your image so it knows where to cut and how far to go down Alright, so here it is, just cutting around the image. And it is going to cut a little bit into your design, that's why you add the bleed, so it doesn't mess your design up. So you see me peeling this off. I'm going to go slowly because I do have a, a lot of small cuts into the sunflower, so I'm, I don't want to rip it or anything, so I'm going to peel it back slowly. And my transfer paper says to peel the backer off. You just wanna you wanna read the instructions on your transfer paper and see what it says. So we finally got it off there. I'm gonna check my design and see how I like it. You're gonna want a cheap iron. This one is like ten bucks at Walmart. You're gonna need some uh, parchment paper, which usually comes with a packet of um, transfer paper. And here's the table that comes with my transfer paper. It tells me how long to hold the iron down on the paper. You're going to want to make sure there's no wrinkles on your shirt. So you just see me iron it, ironing it out. Alright, so then I do put my parchment paper down so I don't burn the image and put my iron, iron on. You're going to want to put as much pressure as you can onto the image as you're holding it down. That way it sticks a little bit better. And I'm just checking around the sunflower leaves to, to see if there's any sticking up.
Alright, and this is my t-shirt. This is how it came out. Um, if you guys have anything you would like to recommend of what you want to see in the future, just let me know.